Hi guys, this is Tasha. I want to share with you a collective haul. I got some things from CVS, Paint and Powder Cosmetics, and BH Cosmetics. So I'm going to start with the CVS stuff first. I got three lippies from CVS, and one of them is this one. This is number. 907C in mauve out of here. Very pretty, pretty color. I actually have some swatches on my hand. I hate that, but I should clean them off. But this one is actually a color, and it seems to be a cool mauve color that I actually like on me. It's one of the rare times that I like cool, a cool color lipstick on me, and I, I really do like this one. The next one is Maybelline in 890. This one is neon red. And oops, let me hold it up. And to me, this is actually let me see, can I come up? Ah, there we go. And this is actually a tomatoey red. And that's the color that looks best on me. So let me swatch it here. That's the mauve out of here from Wet n Wild. This is the neon red. And that's the one that I'm really going to, I'm excited to try in a look. And also this one. And I've always wanted an orange lipstick. And this is Maybelline's Electric Orange, number 880. Let's see if it's going to focus. Focus, focus, focus. There you go. Very, very beautiful orange. Oh my god, I just can't wait to try this one either. There we go. Very, very pretty. I almost look the same. It's very, very pretty. And the last thing I got from CVS was this nail polish and you can see that I didn't put a base on or anything or a top coat. I just was trying it out. And I was looking for a mint green, and this is the first thing I saw, so I picked it up. But on my way out, I saw another one that I think it's by Nicole that I like a little bit better. So I'm going to go back and get that one eventually, but I do like this one. It's from um, Spoiled, and this is totally amazing. Let's see if I can get it to show up on the bottom. Hopefully it There we go. So I really do like that. I'm going to work with that one as well. The next set of products is going to be from Paint and Powder Cosmetics. And there's some things I've been wanting to try. A few things. And the first one is this powder from RCMA. The color is Warm Gold. It's 3 ounces of product. And this is a large, large amount of product. And I don't think I'll ever have to repurchase this. I don't think I'll ever run out. And it's a highlight powder. And even though you can see that it doesn't look like I stuck a hole. I mean, I took the paper off. I just stuck a hole in one of the little corners so that it wouldn't go come out a whole lot at a time. It's just one little almost. And there it is. Let's see if we can get a little bit to show up. There we go. And there it is right there. It's very finely milled. It looks like it has glitters in it. But it's so fine. It, it, you can't feel it or anything. Very pretty powder. It reminds me of a hard candy product. And I can't think it was called Moonlight or Luminizing or something along that line. I couldn't find it. I got it around here somewhere. But I'm really anxious to try this. And been wanting to try it for a while actually so I finally got it the next one is this can but this is an orange color corrector from RCMA the color is BC-2 is 3 8 ounce and this is a lot of product here and let's take this off so you don't get the glare there we go 
Is it work? I might maybe may make it worse, but there it is. And Destiny Godly shows doing color correcting with an orange color corrector. So I'm very anxious to try this because I do have hyperpigmentation, like in the bearded area, I guess you could say. That's my, around my mouth, that's the worst part of where my hyperpigmentation is, where my skin is actually kind of grayish or has this gray tone to it and it's really dull. So hopefully that will color correct and everything else will just fall into place. This last product that I got, and I've been wanting to try it for a while too as well. This is called Aqua. I'm sorry, Blue Aqua Sealer, and it's the only one that I can think of that's water-based. I didn't really want to try any of the alcohol-based ones because you know, alcohol is very drying to the skin, and I may get a client that has very dry skin, and I don't want to, you know, add to the issue, even though, you know, you put the moisturizer and stuff on before you do all that. But I wanted to try this, so I finally got it. So those were my... RCMA. I'm sorry, not RCMA. Those were my paint and powder cosmetics purchases. And the last purchases that I'm going to show you are from BH Cosmetics. And this is the first one. This is um, waterproof eyeliner in the color Onyx. I actually bought two of these. I gave one to my daughter. And this is going to go in my kit. I got two of the cream I, the gel eyeliners, I'm sorry. The first one is in sand. I think this is sand. Yes, this is sand. It's a very pretty color. I'm just not sure exactly what color. But it's a very pretty one. I was hoping it would be a lighter color. Uh, like, you know, sand. I guess there may be some sands that color. But I was expecting something different. But it's still a pretty color as well. And this one in the color burn and was actually expecting something different but you know I should have known it would have it was going to be red with the name like burn but I was hoping it would be more coral than red so but you know I'm, I have no complaints it's a very pretty product very soft I like it so I'll be anxious to try those out and I got, this is the packaging, I took it out. This is the 88 color um, matte eyeshadow palette. And let me pull it from here. Here it is. Let me turn it this way because I don't want it, the thing to blind you guys. And I just wanted to show you all, the light is still there. Is that, um, where did it go? One of the shadows here, well, it wasn't one, it was actually three. Three shadows uh, were had, were loose when I got this. So I glued two of them back, and I just left this one out so you guys can see. And I'm just going to glue it back in. There's no damage to the product at all. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in that area, glue it back, and it'll be good as new. So I have no complaints with that, and I just got one of those. And this is the packaging. For the last item, which is the 28 color neutral eyeshadow palette, and it looks like this. This is the one with the woo. Sorry about that. The clear case. I'm trying to not blind you all. And I really did not need this, guys. I just bought it because of the top was clear. I have my original one here that I got at a hair show. And it's the 28 Warm Neutral Palette. And it doesn't have um, the mirror, which was fine with me. But I got, you know, I had always wanted to try it, and I finally got it. And I hit pan on one color. And I put dents in several. But as you can see, this palette is mm -hmm. far from being used up. But what I did do was... I had seen a lot of videos on MAC dupes. So what I did was, oh, this is not 38, oh, it's only five minutes, cool. Um, the ones that people say were MAC dupes or, you know, were close, 
I just put the names in. So I do not own any Max Shadows by these names. So I cannot attest to if that is true or not. I just did it and as soon as I get my label to back up and running, I'm going to do this one as well. And I just do like this, that's all. But I'm going to put this one in my kit as well. Alright guys, I just want to thank you for joining me this evening. And I hope you guys have a very, very happy holiday, which is Easter is coming up. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.